This tutorial describes the data views in Brilliance. What is a data view? A data view is a subset of clinical data, pertinent to a given disease, a body system, a clinical specialty, or, a special situation. A data view displays all the relevant information about the clinical topic in one place within a few seconds. In contrast, doing the same in CPRS may take over 10 minutes. Big time savings. So, why do we need such a feature? Because, CPRS is like an encyclopedia. It has all the data, but, the user has to manually find the needed data elements to make the clinical decisions. For example, a primary care provider may need to review the medical record because of anemia, and, again, for abnormal liver enzymes. A cardiologist, evaluating a new patient wants to know all about the cardiac history, medications, and the prior cardiology evaluation. An emergency room provider wants the big picture in a complex patient. For each situation, the user needs to look for different pieces of data in CPRS by going to different tabs and opening many documents. This process is inefficient, error-prone, and time-consuming. Why can't the computer put all the pieces together? Indeed, it can. In about two seconds. In Brilliance, we call this feature data views, or reports. For historical reasons, the views are also known as reports, because they display a status report on the selected topic. Let us open the data views form, and take a look at the user interface. To open the data views form, please click on the views button on the top panel of the main form. This opens the views form. The user interface is quite simple. The user interface on the top panel helps find more data, or search the medical record. Along the left side of the form, there are two lists. The top list includes the user's personal list of the frequently used views. The user can add to, or remove from, this list on the fly, using a button click. The second list includes all available views, including any personally created views. Brilliance includes a large number of shared views. More shared views can be added by the VA Medical Center. Much like the CPRS Progress Note templates, the tech-savvy users can create their own views for the special needs. Using the data views is as simple as making a single click on the views name in the list. Most views display all the pertinent data within two seconds. The data views, which need to load clinical reminders, or other data directly from the VISTA system, may take five to 10 seconds. Each data view is designed to extract and lay out the clinical data pertinent to the selected topic. Therefore, the clinical data shown on the women's health chart review is going to be very different than the data displayed for anemia or diabetes. In addition to the clinical data, a data view may contain links to open the reference documents, or links to perform functions like doing a keyword search. Let us take a look at few views. Please notice how Brilliance's presence extensive, well-organized and well-formatted data, which is visually appealing. Effective use of font size, font color, and other display elements draw attention to important data. Over time, we become familiar with the visual structure which facilitates efficient data review. When working with a long list of items, it makes sense to have quick access to the frequently used items. In Brilliance, each user can create a personal list of the frequently used data views. 
Further, the data views can be easily added to, or, removed from this list. Let us see how the user can easily add, or, remove, data views from the frequently used views list. To add a view to the list, select it in the all views list. If needed, you can search for the desired view. Once a view is displayed, click on the add view to frequently used list button. The list is updated. To remove a view, click on it in the frequently used views list. Once the view is displayed, click on the remove view from frequently used list button. The view is removed, and, the list is updated. Question, what if I do not know the exact name of a data view? How do I find it? Even if you are not sure that there is a shared data view on a desired topic, you can easily search for it. For example, you are looking for a data view for nephrology, but are not sure what name it has. Using the search box just above the shared list, type in, nephro, semicolon, renal, semicolon, kidney, and press enter, or, click the find button. Brilliance will show the views, whose names match the search terms. As usual, we search using the partial words which is likely to give better results. As a side note, the letter writer component in Brilliance has a large number of letter templates. It uses a similar mechanism to manage the personal list of frequently used letter templates. In addition to the one-click access to the topic-specific clinical data, the views form assists the user in many ways. Sometimes, the user may see an abnormal finding in the display, and may want to explore the related data, which may not be in the selected view. To enhance efficiency, and to reduce the need for navigation to other forms for data lookup, the data views form includes many helpful features. On the far left on the top panel, there are buttons which open the dedicated forms for detailed data review and analysis. In the same area, on the top panel, there is the quick lookup drop-down box. It provides instant access to many, hard to find, data elements. The data is displayed on a dedicated form, where the user can look up a number of data elements with one click. On the far right on the top panel, we have the familiar user interface to search the currently displayed data view, or, search the medical record. Please notice the two buttons below the text box. How to use the keyword search feature is described in a separate tutorial. Just above the data display area, at the far right, notice the button name show, or hide, headings. As name suggests, it shows, or, hides, the navigation panel which displays the side heading in the data view. If the headings are covering the data on a small screen, you can hide the navigation panel. To quickly navigate it to the desired heading in a long data view, it is much easier to go to the selected heading by clicking on the list, than by scrolling the text up and down. There are two drop-down boxes just above the data display area. The first drop-down box provides the Brillion's generated data. Please select the desired item in the drop-down box, and click the down arrow button next to it. Data is dropped in where your keyboard cursor is on the data views form. The second drop-down box works exactly the same, except, it gets its data from the TIU data objects. Please select the desired item in the drop-down box, and click the down arrow button next to it. Finally, like everywhere else in Brillions, the user can select the desired text, and, copy and paste in CPRS, using the right-click menu. The following tips may help maximize the benefits of the data views features. 1. Depending on the nature of your work, please add the pertinent, frequently used views to your personal list. 2. Become familiar with your frequently used views. Very quickly, our eyes and mind become very efficient with processing the data shown in a familiar format. 3. Become familiar with the format of the general data layout and the views. Most views present data in a similar format. 4. If needed, using the search interface on the top panel, 
the user can search the data in the selected data view, or, search the medical record. 5. Remember the drop-down boxes on the top panel, and, above the display area. They can quickly provide many data elements. 6. To efficiently go to the desired data in the long views, use the navigation panel. The navigation panel shows the side headings in the data view. A click on a heading takes the user to the clinical data under that heading. 7. Practice, practice, practice. The more you use the data views, the more mileage you get out of them.